Daniel Zeichner. Thank you, Mr. Yeah, Speaker. Yeah. It's a pleasure to um, follow the, the, mem the member for Lowestoft, um, my good friend. Um, it's extraordinary, isn't it? We are here today, um, and I, like others, um, would welcome the constructive tone that many have struck in this debate today. But it's March the 27th. We've known for so long that the end date was March the 29th. To start this kind of debate, which should have started so much earlier today, is, I'm afraid, a, a mark of failure for the whole process. I'm not one of those who can, who can say that um, I've changed my mind through this process. I represent one of the most Remain constituencies in the country. I'm a passionate Remainer myself. And I've found that difficult at times, because I recognise that for many of my colleagues, it's a much more difficult position to be in. But I just caution colleagues slightly about the, the policy discussion that we're having today. Because while we may well be able to move to what looks like a, a rational compromise, I've wondered throughout whether that's really where many members of the public are. And if I need any proof of that, I have to say that when I floated the idea some six months ago in this chamber of revocation, I think it was felt like a bit of an outlier position, quite frankly. But if I needed any confirmation of that, it's the extraordinary strength of the petition that's been running in the last few weeks. I'm a member of the Petitions Committee, and I would say I thought it was unfortunate that aspersions were suggested on the veracity of the petition earlier today. Um, the staff worked very hard. Frankly, if there were Russian bots crawling all over parts of one of the campaigns in the referendum campaign, Absolutely I think we can send a strong message. Absolutely. Russian bots are not going to be running over the parliamentary petitions website because we're very, very careful. So whatever one feels about Absolutely. it, the strength, the strength of feeling. In my constituency, 27,000 people, 27,000, almost a third of the electorate have taken the trouble to make that point. So I would say for them, uh, remain, re remain means remain, frankly, and I fear that some of the compromise positions will not satisfy people elsewhere. So that leaves me to conclude, having looked at some of the intermediate options, and I can see the merits of them from a policy perspective, we have people who feel passionately about this issue on both sides. How do you resolve that problem in a democracy? I think there is only one answer, quite frankly, and I thought the most a um, powerful contribution this afternoon um, came from my right honourable friend, the member for Derby South, yeah, yeah. to make that plea to reconcile our differences by doing it in the way that we do best in this country, which is to have a sensible discussion where people actually know the facts now. And goodness, we all know much more about all this than we did two or three years ago. I don't think we're afraid of asking the people if they want a final say. Give it to them and they'll tell us what they think. Yeah. 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 To Paul Williams.